This is another Ask an iExec video podcast from iBank.com. I've got a, uh, a fabulous guest today, Abraham Jenkins. Abraham Jenkins is owner and CEO of a company called Launchpad Careers. He is a um, Launchpad Careers is an organization that helps people find employment opportunities, whether they're employed or they're not employed. And Launchpad Careers kind of helps them get out there and find work. And the reason why I actually am uh, very excited about AJ today um, is. AJ, uh, since the economy kind of took a, a downfall about a year and a half, two years ago, he, he really got into government contracting for um, the employee stimulus stuff that's been going on in the local and state environments. And um, so he, he sees a lot on the commercial side. He sees a lot on the, uh, on the government side. So uh, thanks for joining us, AJ. I appreciate it. Hey, Tom. Uh, appreciate the invite. You're the man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Well, AJ, what's the deal with the government? I want to start on the government side okay. because there's been a lot uh, of talk right now about government contracting, not just on the, on the employment side, but kind of everywhere. And I feel like small businesses don't take advantage of great government opportunities. But what, do you, what are you seeing on the employment Employment side in the, in the local state governments as far as employment contracts? Well, you know, much of the work that we're doing, Tom, has to do with reemployment programs. And so uh, there's a lot of activity, in fact, out there, whether it's uh, through local economic development organizations through the government or what uh, uh, most of the work that we're doing through, which is the Workforce Investment Act, okay? And that's a um, uh, federally funded program, billions of dollars that go out to local communities to assist in developing the workforce. And so we are uh, taking advantage of that demand right now from the government side to help uh, job seekers get out there and, and, and get reemployed. And we are also seeing a focus, in fact, I spoke recently at the uh, conference here in Newport Beach, the Workforce Investment Conference, about the need to connect with small businesses mm -hmm. and get these resources to small businesses to help them hire because, you know, it's, it's really not a, uh, a supply side issue, meaning, sure. you know, there's plenty of candidates out there. Oh, yeah. It's a demand side issue. We've got to create more demand for employees. Absolutely. And, and the only way you're going to do that is by stimulating small business. Sure. And uh, so we're, we are working with the government to help them uh, you know, get these resources out to small business, but we're seeing the activity is high, Perfect. and uh, and there's a lot of there is a lot of resources out there. Mm -hmm. Now we're you know we're obviously in the Southern California area. Uh, you know, you've dealt a lot with the city of LA, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the county of Orange, LA County, uh, the Inland Empire, and Riverside. Uh, um, I mean, you're in Southern California, but are, are these opportunities nationwide in local and state governments as far as government contracting for employment opportunities? Absolutely, they're they're nationwide. Uh, and it depends, you know, uh, state by state, mm -hmm. because each uh, municipality, each agency has the discretion on how they want to utilize their dollars. Sure. So there's no um, one consistent way that it's being done. Um, but I would say here in Southern California, uh, there are a variety of different programs. You know, for instance, the LA County Employment Stimulus Program, which First of all, number one is the largest in the country, mm -hmm. and what it does is it provides small businesses, employers, uh, nonprofits with free employees, pays their salary. Oh wow! <laughs> right now, now that's now now uh, touch a little bit on that. It, play, okay. it pays their salaries up to like twelve dollars an hour for six months, or how does that work? Yeah, the, the LA Employment Stimulus Program pays uh, employers, nonprofits, or for profits. Mm -hmm. uh, it pays. Uh, it subsidizes the employment, so. It provides them with the candidates, mm -hmm. pays the wage of ten. It's actually ten dollars an hour across oh, the board. Okay. Um, pays the taxes, pays the insurance, does everything. In fact, the county is the employer of record, so they'll hire the employee and then send them back out to the employer uh, for six months. Mm -hmm. It actually ends September thirtieth of this year, but it's it's been a huge program. The program in total has placed over ten thousand people. Oh wow! Yeah, it's it's That's phenomenal. Fabulous. Ten thousand people working again. Ten thousand people working fabulous. again. And the other, the other main benefit is that those businesses that are getting those people are able to do more, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, more sales, more uh, manufacturing, more production, which stimulates the economy. So it's, it's been a great program. It's been a huge success. And there are other programs like that throughout the country. Mm -hmm. I want to jump into the commercial side here for a second. But uh, briefly, AJ, how, how would a small business that potentially is doing staffing uh, around the country wants to jump into these government contracts for their local or state government? Where do they go? Where do they start? Should they meet uh, a senator or a Democrat? <laughs> you know, where, where do they go? <laughs> yeah, which party do you talk to these days? <laughs> exactly. Who's in office? Um, you know, really what you have to do is you have to be uh, you, you have to ask questions. Okay. And, and because, you know, we had, you know, 
up to 2008 had done no government contracting whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I actually got a mentor uh, I, through my network, uh, a lady who owns a phenomenal company here in uh, Orange County. She has done government contracting for 20 years. Oh, wow. And so she was a mentor to me to tell me kind of how to navigate it. Mm -hmm. um, but it looks more complicated than it really is. Mm -hmm. And really what you have to do is you just have to go out there, make some phone calls, ask questions. Um, but keep in mind, you know, government contracts, they're, they're open to the public. That's right. And they're, it's a competitive process. So it's not like, you know, in the private sector, if they don't want to work with you, they don't have to work with you. Yeah, and there's, and there's something, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, called set-asides. Mm -hmm. Government contracting, uh, they've got contracts out there solely mm -hmm. for small businesses, exactly. which means medium and larger size businesses cannot compete in exactly. those kinds of areas. So that's another kind of... Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, absolutely. Well, on to the commercial side, that's perfect. I, I mean, I personally think there aren't enough small businesses taking advantage of government contracts. I think it's a fabulous, uh, fabulous way to generate some revenue for yourself. iBank's got a few government contracts, and they're great. Anyway, on to the commercial side. What are we seeing? Any stats, AJ, on employment? Are we up? Are we down? Are we left? Are we right? What are you seeing? Yeah, no, employment is up. Uh, employment is up uh, in a couple of areas. One of the uh, areas that we look at as a leading indicator in the job market is the temporary staffing sector. In okay. fact, a good friend of mine, uh, Greg Palmer, uh, who has a consulting firm, he used to be an executive in the staffing industry and now he runs a consulting firm, Palmer & Associates, they release a quarterly kind of uh, uh, report mm -hmm. and it shows that temporary staffing year over year is up about 8.9 percent. Okay. So that's good yeah. because again it's a leading indicator so as temporary staffing goes up we uh, you know, presume that traditional hiring will follow. Sure. Uh, the second point, number two, is that uh, uh, this quarter is up 2.3 percent. Okay. So, you know, based on those stats, we're excited about that. I think looking long term, you know, the, the realistic picture is that this is probably going to take us um, three to five years sure, to sure. get back to where we were at 5 percent, 4 percent unemployment. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a long ways to go. But I always believe that movement in, in a direction is good. You know, when we're seeing activity, you're sure. seeing companies hire, Absolutely. that that's good. And we just need to, you know, increase it and speed mm -hmm. it up and, and participate. Sure, sure. So, so what kind of opportunities are you seeing out there for um, unemployed individuals? I mean, we, you spoke a little bit about temporary employment mm -hmm. is up quite a bit. But, I mean, is that kind of the only sector we're seeing a pickup in? I mean, what about some of the industries, insurance, yeah. business loans? Where are people being hired and what kind of job descriptions are they? Seeing. Sure, absolutely. Um, well, going back to the government sector, sure, government's hiring like crazy, oh, right? Yeah. So you know, big governments get a little bigger, and uh, you know, so that's an area for folks who who you know are interested in that um, you know going to work for government. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, what's interesting is the census right now is creating a lot of jobs. Now those are temporary jobs, so you really can't count those. But uh, I talked with someone who took a, a position with the census. It pays sixteen bucks an hour. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So if you're unemployed right now and you really need a job, mm -hmm. there's a job out there for you. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, if you just if you really need a job. But let's look at the private sector as far as who's hiring in the private sector. Um, the big corporations are hiring again. Mm -hmm. uh, you're starting to see that happen. Retail is hiring again. Okay. Uh, keep in mind that a lot of these organizations laid off and they cut to the bone. Sure. And there's now pressure from Wall Street to see these organizations increase their top line because mm -hmm. they've increased their their bottom line, sure. but in order to increase growth, uh, they can't do it out of productivity. So they need to get more people into the organization. So you're seeing uh, big companies, Fortune 500, hire again. Great. Um, specific sectors, academic sectors, mm -hmm. you know, higher education. You know, within states and, and um, I would say public education, they still got some budget concerns, but other areas outside of that mm -hmm. is growing. Um, finance, interestingly enough, is growing. Uh, retail banking is mm -hmm. growing. Um, you know, small business is starting to grow. You know, one of the things we said is if we could just get small business to hire one additional person, oh, yeah. we'd pull ourselves out of this, you know, oh, recession. so fast. It, so overnight. Sure, so, sure. Um, yeah. Well, that's great. Well, AJ, I really want to thank you for joining us today. It's been a, it's been an absolute honor. Uh, iBank's uh, worked with AJ and Launchpad Careers over the years, and um, both the government sector and the private sector. It's interesting to see what you have to say. So, thanks again for joining us. Hey, thanks, man. This has been another uh, Ask an iExec iBank video podcast, and we'll see you guys next time.